I left Egypt like two years ago because I felt I don't belong to there. I can't continue my life being there. And because I decided to take off my hijab, I'm an FGM survivor and I want to continue my activism against this practice in Egypt, which is not really safe to do such things. And when I came to the UK in the first time, I find like services and support for survivors, which is not available in my country. You know, when you are a survivor and the trauma still lives with you, and I try to have a therapy now to get over my trauma, but it's always there and you always remember what happened to you, especially if, when I was going to die in this um, situation so I really don't want any other young girl to live this experience and I want to support survivors like me having the therapy and even doing surgery if it's possible to feel complete. It was very hard when I was taking the bus going to the airport from Egypt and, and looking from the window to like say goodbye to everywhere because I'm not sure if I'm gonna come again soon, I'm gonna be deported, I'm gonna be back in my life again. So it was very hard feeling until I was into the airport and I took the flight and came here, arrived in the early morning to Bristol so, and the lockdown started in like after I came two weeks. Um, so it was more stressing because you know seeking asylum the process itself is it's very hard so with the lockdown and you have to stay home and you have nowhere to go and you have no people to speak to and no internet access and no tv and nothing to do it's it's really frustrating when you, you stay at home and you're just thinking of the future what's gonna happen to me well comparing to the situation in egypt and now and here totally i'm free to speak out and to share my experience and i'm glad that there's some initiatives in egypt now these women started to speak out and to share about their traumas and experiences with fgm especially and i mean here is easy to speak but it's hard to find someone to you feel really comfortable to share with your experience and your trauma because as I told you I left my, all my beloved ones back home and I still in touch with some friends but it's really hard when you are here alone without nobody and you're trying to do such a big thing like influencing other people it's not easy but it's just like you need some supports and some someone to push you and uh, this is my struggles now but I'm, I'm trying to like to be strong and you know continue my life here in my new home